to Venture Boy Cat Seven here for episode number twelve on my Manchester United career mode. Now, lads, I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. Let's just get the bad news out of the way. With bad news, lads, um, I was recording before and my Elgato decided to stuff up and I've lost footage. Absolutely pissed off, but there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't find hidden files, couldn't do nothing. The, the, it was just gone. Good news, absolutely nothing happened, all right? We played three games, I drew two of them, and I won one. The game that I won was 1-0. So you guys absolutely missed nothing. But right at the end of that episode, I made not one, but two massive signings. Now, the good news is that I made those signings right at the end of the episode. So I haven't even used them, I signed them, I haven't even played with them. We are going to see not one, but two debuts on this episode, lads. And I signed none other. Then Cristiano Ronaldo, yes, he's returning home to Old Trafford. Oh my God, I'm so pumped, lads. Oh my God, Ronaldo is here, I can confirm. But we did have to, I couldn't afford him, so I had to sell somebody. Some people might be upset, some people might be happy, but Ronaldo Falcao has gone in the other direction to Real Madrid. It was just a straight swap deal, no cash involved. Now, lads, we also made another signing. And again, no cash involved, and we had to sell a player. Again, it was a straight swap. In fact, I might tell you who we sold first to get rid of this player. A straight swap. Again, people probably won't be too fussed about this because he wasn't lethal. Jackson Martinez is gone from the club. I know we just signed him, but he wasn't as good as I thought he was going to be, which is a shame. So Jackson Martinez gone, a striker. We're going to need another striker. But who are we going to get, lads? Karim Benzema. Yes, I am pumped with that. Benzema's in at United now, lads. Lads, we just got Ronaldo and Benzema. That is mental. Anyways, lads, let's get to this career mode. Alright lads, so just recapping the Premier League table because we have played three games since you last seen it. Uh, we drew one game and we uh, won one game. So lads, as you can see, we are still on top of Tottenham. Same amount of games played, still undefeated lads, but just one point. And Chelsea are still in third spot and Crystal Palace sneaking up into fourth spot. Anyways lads, let's go and see the fixtures on this episode. So the first game we got on this episode lads is a game against Chelsea. Chelsea, massive game, but it's a Capital One Cup tie, semi-finals, so there's going to be two legs. The first one is the first game of this episode, and then we've got a game in the Premier League against Hull City away, and then we got a game against Exeter City in the FA Cup. So there you can see for yourself, lads, Manchester United and Real Madrid finally agree on terms for Ronaldo. He has signed for us. I am so happy about that. I know a lot of you guys requested that, and that's the reason why I went for Ronaldo in the end. And also, Karim Benzema signs for Manchester United. Confirmation right there. All right, lads, so let's get to the first game, the Capital One Cup semi-final against Chelsea. All right, lads, the team you guys have been waiting for, this is a 4-3-3 formation. It's a formation that I really like. You probably guessed that by now, but lads, 93, Cristiano Ronaldo on top. I know I got Benzema on the bench, but I want to save Benzema for the next game. Possibly, maybe to come off the bench against his old club Chelsea, which he used to play for in his career mode. Anyways, lads, Di Maria, Ronaldo, Robin. What a deadly trio. That is paste abuse like no tomorrow up front. Anyways, lads, in the midfield, we've got Rooney, Pjanic, and... Um, Daily Blind. Now, a lot of you saying, Rooney, you, you want me to use him up front, and I really, uh, I'm going to change my formation coming up in the next few games, hopefully play two up front, and I want to get Rooney involved more up front, I agree with you guys, but for now, he's going to play in the midfield, just because he's, he's pure strength in the middle of the park, that's why I like using him there, but anyways, lads, at the back, Luke Shaw, Hummels, Jones, and Raphael at the back, and of course, lads, we've got De Gea in goal. Alright, lads, here we go, the man, the myth, the legend, Renato. Ronaldo making his debut for Manchester United. Now, just to confirm very quickly, Ronaldo has got the number seven uh, top, and Karim Benzema has got the number nine from Radamel Falcao. Di Maria switching to number 22, where he used to have at Real Madrid. Right, here we go. Come on, United. Let's go. 
Willian, good tackle, Pjanic. Oh, that's unlucky. Who's got the ball? Hazard, the wrong one, the right one. No, Jackson Martinez, Jackson Martinez. Oh, Ronaldo, his first touch for United. Lovely stuff, son. Keeps the ball well. That's good. Happy with that. Hazard, Eden Hazard. Get it out, lads. Get it out. Thorgan Hazard. Tell you what, it's hard to, it's hard to control the Hazards. Ronaldo, Taruni, Waza. Ah, see that strength there? That's the strength that I'm talking about. Ronaldo, can you get to Robin? Oh, and Robin, running in. Oh, I should have just unleashed there. But I tell you what, the threat is there, lads. Oh, no. Jackson Martinez gets it in. Come on, lads. Oh, Thorgan has an almost scored. Robin to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo chop. Lovely Ronaldo. Lovely stuff. Can you get in? Daily Blind. Have a shot, son. What a save from Petr Cech. Come on, lads. Let's go. Hit him on the counter attack. Come on. Di Maria to Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a good touch. Varan. Varan with their tackle. Tell you what, this match has got a Real Madrid feel to it. Varan, Ronaldo, Di Maria used to play for him. Robin used to play for Real Madrid. Daddy Blind to Di Maria. Robin, nice. Robin, oh look at this, it's on his own. Robin puts in Ronaldo. Ronaldo puts in Robin. I'm in, and oh my god, I put it wide. All right, lads, making a substitution. Di Maria coming off for Karim Benzema against Chelsea, his old team. Hopefully. He can find a winner. Come on, Karim. Rooney to take the corner. Who's in there? Hummels! Hummels! Hits the post! What a save from Czech. That was sneaking into the top corner. Rooney to take the corner again. Who's in there? Who's in there? Another save from Peter Czech. I think it was Robin with the head of all people. Benzema to Ronaldo. 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 What can he do? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. Oh, mate, there was a chance. I was trying to do a step over, but it just wouldn't work. And I think that's the way the game is going to end, lads. Yes, it is. Nil, nil. And uh, it was so frustrating just because Chelsea didn't want to score. They just wanted to keep possession. But unfortunately, lads, it ended nil, nil. But lads, it's on to the next game. Hopefully then, lads, we're going to have more goals. Back to Old Trafford we go. At least it's on level terms. All right, that's the second game of the episode. We're back in the Premier League. This time, we're away to Hull City. All right, lads, so for the game against Hull, I'm switching to a 4-4-2, much more attacking formation. Ronaldo and Rooney up top, like old times. Anyways, that's Di Maria on the left. Fellaini and Herrera in the middle of the park, who are killing it in real life at the minute, the both of them. Anyways, Robin on the right, the way you guys like it, cutting in. Anyways, Shaw, Hummels, Jones, Raphael at the back, and of course, the Haya in Gyo. All right, here we go at the KC Stadium. Come on, United. Let's go. Nice. Come on, lads. Quinn, good tackling. That's unlucky. Hamilton to hit the crossbar. That is unlucky. Well done. No. Oh, my gosh, Quinn. Lads, I thought we were going to be down 1-0 for a second. Ronaldo. Nice. Come on, Cristiano Ronaldo. Sees Rooney. Oh, Waza. Hit that, son. Rooney, shot block again. Robin. Robin. Oh, Ian Robin. Bit lucky with the deflection, but almost made them pay to Fellaini. Marwan Fellaini. Marwan Fellaini sees Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he get there? He can. Cristiano Ronaldo! Get in. His first goal for United. Back. Get in, Ronaldo. Bit lucky with the way the ball bounced with the deflection, but he got to pass the keeper. That's the most important thing, lads. And we go up 1-0. Get in. 40 yards out. This is unbelievable. This is this is probably too far for Ronaldo. But I'm going to give it a crack. Come on, Ronnie. 40 yards out. Gets it up and over the wall, but not past McGregor. Probably needed a little bit more power, that one. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, lads. Stop the cross. All right. They're free at the back post. Jelovic. Jelovic. He's kept that in. Come on, Hummels. Well done, Hummels. Good defending. All right, Ronaldo's got like a one-on-two here. Cristiano Ronaldo, what can you do, son? Can you use that pace? He can. Ronaldo, can you get past the defender? He can. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh. Ronaldo, here we go. Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Robin sees Ronaldo making a run. Cristiano Ronaldo, can he get inside? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Oh, good defending by Dawson. Fair play to him. He read me cutting back inside. Rafael. 
to Ronaldo. Look at this on inside. Oh, Benzema. Karim Benzema. Karim Benzema sees the run. No, I wanted Rooney. Rooney's still on the ball. Chasing hard. Benzema. 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 Oh, what a goal, son. Karim Benzema gets his goal debut. Oh, not his debut. Gets his first goal for United. But what a play from Benzema. Tackled hard. Worked hard. What a tackle, son. You don't want to be making mistakes there. And boy, did he make Hull pay. What a goal. Mate, effort that was. Absolutely effort. Who would have thought Ronaldo and Benzema scoring two goals against Hull City in his career mode? I bet you weren't thinking that last week. Neither was I. <laughs> oh, well done, Rooney. Come on, Benzema. Make a run, son. Ronaldo's making a run. Ronaldo's making a lovely run. Cristiano Ronaldo! <laughs> what a finish, son! Get in! Great to have you back at United, son. Get in! You can tell right at the end there how City went for the attack. Rooney, what a through ball to Ronaldo. Like old times. 3-0. Game, set, match. There we go, lads. The three points is ours. Good victory, 3-0. I'm happy with that performance. Oh, let's go check out the league table. All right, as the last game on the episode, we are away to Exeter City in the FA Cup. All right, so for this game, I'm playing a 4-2-3-1. Benzema at top, then the three behind him, Nani, Ross Barkley, Yanezay. In the middle of the park, Daly Blind and Alex Song. Back four, Cohen Trail, Smalling, Rojo, Nathaniel Klein, and of course, De Gea in goal. United against Exeter City. Just like in real life a few years ago. But anyways, lads, let's go. Adnan Yenizay on the ball. Adnan, tell you what, he's got a bit of room. Hit that. Adnan Yenizay. <sighs> Nani to take the corner. Gets it in. Benzema's in there. Comes down to Adnan. What a save from the keeper. Jesus, lads. Nani, tell you what, sees Nathaniel Klein all on his own. Nathaniel Klein, can he hit that? Oh, it's the crossbar. Adnan gets it back. What a goal made by Nathaniel Klein. I've seen Nathaniel Klein all on his own. Just had a crack. Adnan, how did he score the header from that angle? Oh, that's almost impossible to score that goal. All right, lads, switching to a 3-5-2 formation. There's just no need to have four at the back. We are all over Exeter. So taking off Cohen Trail, bringing on Hernandez, sticking him up front with Benzema. Hernandez, Tanani, look at this, Ross Barkley, this is good, this is good, come on Benzema, 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 Karim Benzema, tucks it into the bottom corner, lads, we go ahead, 2-0 against Exeter, get in, what a tidy finish there, Ross Barkley with the assist, good first touch from Benzema, and what a finish, son, and what a finish, son, was never gonna miss that in a month of Sundays. Get in. All right, that's free kick on the edge of the box. What can Nani do? Can he get it up and over the wall? He can. Yes, what a goal. That's an own goal from the goalkeeper. But he hit the crossbar, forced the goalkeeper into a mistake. That's, this game is pretty much done and dusted. They've given Nani the goal for that. That was a clear own goal. Look, that's a... Oh, I don't know about this game sometimes. Song, great tackle. Daily Blind, he wants Hernandez. Hernandez is at the back post. Hernandez, can he get there? Gets it to Benzema. Benzema! Oh, what a goal that was. I could have been selfish with Hernandez, but nah. Team game, this is. Well done, Hernandez. Great cross from Daily Blind there. And to be honest, I don't think I would have scored if I had a shot with Hernandez. Great cut back. Benzema couldn't finish from there. He can't stop scoring goals now. Welcome to the club, Benzema. Right, there we go, lads. The full-time whistle. We win 4-0 in a convincing game against Exeter. Let's see who we got next in the FA Cup. All right, lads. In the next round of the FA Cup, we're at home to Watford in a match you would think we should be winning comfortably. Should be the key word. All right, lads. So if we take a look at the table, now, as you can see, there's a four-point gap between us and Tottenham right now. That is huge. Chelsea are catching Tottenham right now. Lads, we are still undefeated. I'm very, very pleased the way things are going uh, at the minute of this league. Now, there's probably, we're just past the halfway mark, so 
Lads, there's probably still a lot of time to screw this up or cement a spot in the um, to be crowned Premier League champions. But anyways, lads, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Ronaldo is back home. And if that's what you wanted, if that's what you're happy to see, please drop a thumbs up. It's muchly appreciated. Again, lads, I apologize for my Elgato stuffing up, but that's just something I just got no control over. I can't even fix it if I wanted to. So I, I'm deeply sorry about that. Trust me, no one was more upset about that than me. Trust me. But anyways, lads, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, keep up to date with everything, make sure you click those links in the description. But anyways, lads, I've been your boy, QXS7. Take care. Peace. Starting for glory. What does a dartboard and the Premier League have in common? And just like that, you can see the 20 numbers have been replaced by the 20 Premier League clubs. Shit! Our first hole in the wall. <laughs> oh gosh, that can't be too good at all.